What is up you guys, Wahab here with you. I'm back to you with another review video. And today I'm doing a one full year review of the Cruisen Shidai tripod uh, Q999H. Now I have done a review about this tripod before, but I wanted to give you more information as I used it around the year. So for those of you who didn't watch my previous video, this tripod comes at 60 bucks. I bought it from AliExpress and I have been using it as a filmmaker ever since. So it measures about 43 centimeters packed and 155 centimeters fully deployed. It weighs about 1.6 kilogram and with the bag it becomes 1.8. So this tripod features a ball head which allows you to adjust your camera angle very easily simply by adjusting your camera and then locking the, the ball head. You know, you don't need to adjust any axes. It also features a quick release plate which allows you to release your camera from the tripod at any moment easily so that you can uh, remove the battery, replace it or place the SD card. It also has a squat position which greatly improves the stability of the tripod especially when you're shooting in telephoto. It also has a detachable stem which allows you to uh, remove it and then you can mount the camera upside down or you can mount it in a giraffe position which allows you to shoot those upside down shots or even use it as a slider. You can get those shots for videos uh, very easily. Also, one of the three legs of the tripod are detachable, which means you can attach it to the stem or the, uh, the ball head itself, and you can use it as a monopod. And a monopod is really useful in tight places or when you want to shoot some smooth video without having to buy a gimbal. It also has two spongy cushions on the other legs so that you can use it as a shoulder rig, which is really useful. So now that we're done with the specs, like I said, I have been using this tripod for about one year now and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of it. Uh, bear in mind that I have not been paid to say or do anything. I bought this tripod with my own money, so what I'm gonna say is 100% my opinion. So in terms of build quality, this tripod is made of aluminum alloy. Even the pieces that I thought they were plastic, they were actually aluminum painted with a black and gold finish. And over a year of using it, the paint did chip a little, but not so much as to make it look like it's it has been to a war. So from to, in the terms of build quality, it's really okay for me. Now in terms of ease of use, it has those screw mechanism types on the legs, which allows you to deploy the tripod in under one minute, which is very impressive. In terms of portability, this tripod is really small and really light compared to the last tripod that I had, which was also made of aluminum, but it weighed 2.4 kilograms. In terms of versatility, I think that this tripod can do everything. I mean, it can, it has the giraffe option. You can use it as a monopod. You can use it as a shoulder rig. You can use it upside down. You can use it squat. So it has like so many possibilities and really the imagination is your limit here. In terms of durability, like I said, I have been using it uh, for about one year. Uh, I'm not really, um, the kind of people that goes to camp with it. I mean, I didn't really go camp with it or use it or abuse it under extreme circumstances, but I have been using it normally as a filmmaker and nothing broke. So as I was writing this review, I was thinking of something negative to say about this tripod, but I didn't really find any. At first, uh, when I bought it, I thought that it was too light and that would make it unstable. If somebody bumps into it, it might drop the camera. But then I found out that they also thought of that. They have this little hook in the base of the stem so that you can attach your backpack into it and greatly improve the stability of this tripod. And that marks the end of my review for this tripod. I hope it helped with your purchasing decision. If you decide to purchase it, I have left you a link in the description. Also, if you like this video, consider hitting the like button so that you can support my channel. And even if you don't like it, please let me know in the comments of what I can improve in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.